One of the main advantages of algebraic methods over analytical methods is that they easily allow the exploitation of prior knowledge that you might have about a scanned object. This is especially useful if you have only a limited number of measurements available. Because ideally, the number of measurements is very large compared to the number of voxels or unknowns in the reconstruction equation. We call this a situation of sufficient projection data. In practice, however, due to limits on radiation dose or scanning time, or due to physical constraints in the scanner, it might occur that the number of measurements is very small compared to the number of unknowns. In that scenario, the reconstruction equation is said to be underdetermined, and there is just not enough projection data available to find the correct reconstruction. By exploiting prior knowledge, however, you can then effectively fill up this gap of data with external or dark information. This information can come in many forms, but here we will discuss only a simple example. In conventional X-ray tomography, the value of a certain reconstructed pixel represents the attenuation factor of the material that is present in that exact location. This attenuation factor tells us how much the intensity of an X-ray beam will decrease when it passes through this point. Now given that beam intensities cannot increase, we can observe that negative values in a reconstructed image make no sense at all. The third iterative scheme, however, does not take this into account, and negative values can and do typically pop up. An easy solution for this is to project all negative values to zero after each third update. This is of course a very easy operation to perform and can be done very efficiently. Doing so does however break the mathematical guarantee that the reconstruction will converge, but in practice it will result in more accurate reconstructions. As an example, we show here a few search reconstructions of 256 x 256 Shep Logan phantoms. On top you see a reconstruction from only 45 projection directions, without any prior knowledge. The lack of sufficient information clearly results in some streaking artifacts and in a decreased contrast on the inside of the object. On the bottom, however, there is a reconstruction with 360 projection directions, which is clearly sufficient data to accurately perform the reconstruction. If we now do these reconstructions again, but this time with a minimum constraint, we see that for the one with 360 directions, the prior knowledge resulted in little benefit. Whereas for the insufficient data case of having only 45 directions, the benefit is clearly very profound. 